Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Here's your monthly scholarship game plan. That's right, Habits of Scholarship Winner Series. This is a high school and a college edition for February 2020. All right, there are certain things I need you to do in February 2020 for you to be successful in the scholarship process. And as you always know, I'm going to keep it simple. This will work for high school students and college students. So here we go. Three things. Number one, find 15 local scholarships. You all know the January to about April, March time period of the year is the best time to apply for local scholarships. Local scholarships are scholarships offered to students from a particular hometown or the surrounding areas. So for instance, when I was a high school senior in 2015 in Danville, Virginia, I applied for a lot of local scholarships before I graduated from high school. If you are a college student, right now is the perfect time to figure out which scholarships are opening or available for you to apply for in your college's hometown and also in your hometown for current college students. Do your research. I'm gonna drop a video soon called How to Find Local Scholarships to help you understand exactly what you need to do to actually find those scholarships. For, so find 15 local scholarships. Find at least 15 local scholarships. You all know the best, the rule of thumb I've always taught you is to find five scholarships a day. And if you do that for the month of February, there are 29 days in the month of February this year, you will end up finding 145 scholarships this month. And if I'm only asking you to find 15 local scholarships out of that 145, I'm only asking you to actually find 10% of the amount of total amount of scholarships you'll find this month and local scholarships. Now you may be asking me, Danielle, why do I need to find 145 scholarships? Well, scholarships are a numbers game. And so I want you to find an abundance of scholarships so that, hey, maybe you don't get to it this year, but it's open again next year. It's already on your radar, so you're prepared in advance. So once again, five, five scholarships a day, that should be 145 this month, and 10% of that should be local scholarships. Now apply for at least six local scholarships in the month of February. I tell y'all, a good rule of thumb, this is what I average, is three scholarship submissions per week. Three scholarship submissions per week. So if you're submitting three scholarships per week for the month of February, there are four weeks, you should have at least submitted 12 scholarships for the month of February. And if I'm telling you to submit at least six local scholarships, 50% of the scholarships you submit this month should be local scholarships, okay? So, submit at least six scholarships this week. Uh, submit at least six local scholarships this month, excuse me. Now, submit your 2020 to 2021 FAFSA if you haven't already. A 2020 to 21 FAFSA, 2021 FAFSA is only available for high school seniors and current college students. It's a federal um, government document, online document, to help determine how much financial aid you actually need and you qualify for. That gives me a good idea to produce a FAFSA video to give you more information about that. If you're not familiar with the, what the FAFSA stand for, stands for, it's short for a free application for federal student aid. That's how you get the Pell Grant. Um, and if you are gonna take out loans, I don't encourage it. We actually teach students how to earn scholarships to go to college and graduate debt-free through Doe for Degrees. I graduated debt-free from Virginia Tech on May 17th of 2019, having earned more than $200,000 in scholarships. And so this company, this YouTube channel, is all about helping you earn scholarships to graduate debt-free. But if you get in a bind or um, you just decide you want to take out loans, you definitely want to make sure you submit your FAFSA you, so you can see if you qualify for federal loans which have lower interest rates and are overall a better choice compared to private loans, okay? So, this is the game plan for February 2020. If you put this into practice, if you do this, you will potentially have more scholarship success. But it's not contingent upon the amount of scholarships you submit, but it's not only contingent upon the amount of scholarships you submit, but also the quality of your applications. So you can submit 3,000 scholarships. If they're all poor quality, then you already automatically rank yourself lower and decrease your chances of actually winning that scholarship. So once again, quality over quantity. 10%, 15 local scholarships. Find 15 local scholarships this month and submit at least six local scholarships this month. Let me know if you have any questions, drop them below. My name is Danielle Jeffers. I'm here to help you earn scholarships to go to college and graduate debt-free. 
Assim, Sam. 